Hobie's Mirage Compass incorporates an all new and exciting design, and it comes with everything that you need to get out on the water right away. This platform can be customized with all kinds of accessories and dialed in to meet your exact needs. I'm going to walk you through Hobie's Mirage Compass from bow to stern. We're going to look at all of the features and benefits that make this an awesome kayak for fishing or recreational use. The bow entry is sleek, which makes it very fast and quiet going through the water. But it still has a very generous midsection, which makes it extremely stable with a flat deck for standing. The cargo area incorporates a multi-hull design, which gives it serious capacity. A spring-loaded rudder is nested underneath this uniquely designed stern. At 12 foot long, the compass lands on a sweet spot for most users. It's long enough to go fast, but it's also short enough to still be very nimble. At 34 inches wide, you get a stable platform that both pedals and paddles very well. The fully rigged weight is 87 pounds, and that includes everything that comes with it. The fitted weight is only 68 pounds, and that's the weight that you're going to be lifting and transporting around. Hobie's Mirage Drive with Glide technology is what powers the compass, and this thing's been around for years. It's also made with the best components out there that hold up in the harshest of saltwater environments. The cranks are adjustable, so they can be moved fore or aft to fit almost any user. As you pedal along using your leg muscles, which are a lot stronger than your arm muscles, there are fins underneath the kayak that move from side to side. That side-to-side -side movement creates pitch and propulsion, which moves you forward very efficiently. The fins fold up flat against the bottom of the hull for when you enter shallow water. Most importantly, pedaling leaves your hands free. The Mirage Drive is lightweight and is very easily installed or removed from the hull. When you're ready to go even faster, you can upgrade to turbo fins. Or if you have any need to go in reverse, the Mirage Drive 180 fits right into the same Mirage Drive well. The seat comes with 3D mesh, which is extremely comfortable and breathable for spending all day out there on the water. The seat back is adjustable fore and aft, and it also has lumbar support adjustment. It's placed in the optimal position, giving you a great balance between stability and visibility on the water. It can easily be removed and used as a beach chair. From the seated position, both of your steering controls are within hand's reach. You have your up-down control on the right-hand side and your main left-to-right steering control on the left-hand side. If you forget to pull your rudder up, that's okay because the rudder is made out of extremely durable material and it automatically folds up using the spring-loaded mechanism. On the left and right-hand side of the gunnels, you'll find the Hobie H-Tracks. These are center loading tracks that make adding and removing accessories very easy and there's no need to drill any holes. There's also more space fore and aft of the tracks to mount additional accessories. Up on the bow we have a really nice comfortable ergonomic carry handle. We have this bow storage area right here. This is a cargo area that's covered with a mesh piece of netting like this. You can lift it up and stuff dry bags underneath there or whatever else you like. You'll also notice underneath the mesh cover, there's a round cutout right here. One of my favorite things to do is to actually take the round hatch that's in the center of the cockpit right here, move it to the bow, and replace this area with a rectangular hatch. I also like to add map pockets right here, which allow me to store even more gear. You have your H-tracks on the left and right hand side of the gunnels. Obviously your Mirage Drive system's up here that pops in and out really easily. You have a cup holder on the right hand side, so your beverage is always within easy reach. On the left side of the seating area, you have your steering handle. And on the right side, you have your paddle storage. Also, hidden away on the left and right hand sides of the seat are molded in side carry handles. Now these are great for turning the kayak on its side to insert a cart or for card topping the kayak. As we move back into the rear cargo area, you'll notice it's a very big and spacious area. It's also got two scupper holes. That allows you to take a, a cart of ours or the live well. You can also fit an H crate back here or a really big cooler. There are also two molded in rod holders for storing your rods. And then as we move to the back of the stern area, you'll notice another ergonomic comfy carry handle back here. 
There's also two inserts right here, which are placed strategically to take a power pole adapter plate. So if you're looking to anchor yourself in shallow waters, you can utilize that accessory. It's Lowrance ready. So there's a cavity molded in on the underside of the hull that has a cover plate that houses your transducer. And then it also comes with all of the plugs and hardware needed for installing and running all of your wires and cables. Compass comes in your choice of two exciting colors, slate blue, which is a little more of a stealthy look, and seagrass green, which is a little bit more visible out there on the water. Some of my favorite things about Hobie's Mirage Compass, aside from the Mirage Drive itself, are that this kayak is extremely fast and nimble. It's also super lightweight, which makes it easy to transport. It paddles like a dream, so if you ever don't want to use your Mirage Drive and just paddle the kayak, it paddles very well. Lastly, the primary and secondary stability are pretty darn amazing on this kayak. You have to try it to believe it yourself. So I suggest go and visit a Hobie dealer, get out on the water and take one for a test drive and you'll see what I'm talking about.